Apple search ads does not use SK ad network, but its attribution is changing with iOS 14. To get all the details, we're chatting with Jonathan Chen from Singular. Welcome, Jonathan. Thanks, John. How are you? Doing well, thank you. Uh, talk to us about some of the things that are happening with Apple search ads, attribution, and Singular right now. Apple search ads, notably, uh, starting with 14.3, um, but really coming into an effect in, in 14.5 and useful in 14.5, um, released a new way to measure Apple search ads um, attributions um, through something called the ad services framework. Um, prior to you know, iOS 14, Apple search ads attributions uh, were also being measured, um, but through a older um, iAd uh, framework. So the notable change is with everything iOS 14 and ATT enforcement related, um, Apple Search Ads is switching to this, this newer uh, framework for, for measurement. IAD is from the early days of Apple. I'm pretty sure it's some acquisition that they bought literally a decade ago or something like that. It is old technology now being replaced by ad services framework. What does that do? How is that different? Yeah. So. Um, at a high level, the integrations are pretty similar. Um, people in, in our industry will refer to them as something like a self-attributing um, partner or network. Um, they are self-attributing, although they're a bit different from the, the classic you know, Facebooks and Googles where they're, they're um, server-side based. Um, but the main point here is it's self-attributing because ultimately the app developers or MMPs in our case are getting the attribution decision um, from Apple servers. What data do you get? There's some differences, right, between people who are opted in and opted out of ATT? Yeah, so with the, um, the IAD integration, the older integration, um, essentially advertisers are able to get uh, granularities like campaign name, creative keyword, um, and you know, other things that you normally expect in, in traditional attribution like the, uh, the click timestamp. Um, the newer ad services uh, integration um, allows you to get the same things. There's minor differences, but generally you get your campaign ID, uh, creative uh, keyword ID and all that stuff, um, along with the click timestamp. Uh, the main difference is, um, is how ad services and iAd behaviors differ when ATT comes into play. Um, so as we all know, ATT enforcement happening with iOS 14.5 uh, will allow users to uh, opt in or opt out of ATT. Uh, with iAd, um, you'll notice that for users who have not opted into ATT, you won't get uh, any information about um, Apple search ads attributions. Um, with ad services, uh, Apple has uh, made it so um, even for users that opt out or, or don't even uh, get an ATT uh, prompt, uh, you still get some information about a potential Apple search ads attribution there. What is the main difference between an opt-in and opt-out user in terms of that um, of that attribution decision? Uh, the only difference uh, right now is that opt-out users, you won't know the click time um, of, of the, uh, let's say, the ad. Right, and that's probably a privacy-related thing. That does bring up the question, of course, this is not SK Ad Network. There's more data that's available. Why is it not SK Ad Network, and what's the difference here? Yeah, so um, the why is is always a, a fun question, I think. Um, you know, curious to hear what Apple's plans are. Um, but I think generally... Because it is not SK Ad Network, what it means is it lives in parallel as a separate, uh, let's say, product or platform uh, next to SK Ad Network. So it means that uh, when ATT enforcement happens, you're going to have you know, partners, uh, NMMPs integrated with SK Ad Network and getting attribution decisions there. But in parallel, you will continue and you will be getting Apple Search Ads attributions. Um, because they are separate, uh, platforms and, and products, um, you could have scenarios where potentially you have one, let's say, user, uh, where there is an SK Ad Network post back triggered and, and reported to, let's say, Facebook. But if that user did click on an Apple search ad, um, Apple will claim that user via the you know ad services integration. 
uh, to the advertiser, you will not be able to know the difference. Uh, essentially, you won't be able to dedupe installs. So Apple ad services exists alongside SK ad network, but Apple's not using SK ad network for these on platform attributions. Why is that? Um, so that's a great question. Um, honestly, only Apple is the one that can really answer that question. But my guess is simply because um, Apple search ads is Apple first party data. Uh, it is built into the iOS uh, platform and ecosystem. So one could argue it's a technical decision or it could simply just be because it's part of the, uh, the iOS ecosystem. Right. Absolutely. And first party data is a little different, right? Just like on Google or Facebook, you've got uh, internal data. They've got internal data that they're not releasing necessarily or that they can release on a first party relationship basis that they wouldn't release on a third party relationship basis. Excellent. Thank you so much, Jonathan. Really do appreciate your time. Of course. Thank you.